So this problem says, particle physicists use particle track detectors to determine the lifetime of short-lived particles. <clears throat> so this is sort of an in inverse problem. A muon has a mean lifetime of 2.2 microseconds and makes a track of 9.5 centimeters long before decaying into an electron and two neutrinos. What is the speed of the muon? Okay, so let's... Um, these are lab coordinates, lab time. So here is the track of the muon. We'll say it's uh, traveling in a straight line and it decays there. So this is capital T is after which it decays. All right, uh, so the space time interval is given by delta x this is delta x that's how far the muon travel which is 9.5 centimeters square minus c square t square is equal to and that's equal to minus c square times the proper uh, time of the muon which is the lifetime which is and this is tau is 2.2 microseconds so we'll write that down 2.2 microseconds and delta x is 9.5 centimeters. All right, so <clears throat> what we have is uh, c squared tau squared is equal to c squared t squared minus delta x squared. And also from time dilation, we know that the lab time, the Time the muon lives in the lab is related to the proper lifetime via gamma times tau. So we'll substitute that there. So c squared t tau squared is equal to c squared gamma squared tau squared minus delta x squared. All right, delta x square is equal to c square gamma square tau square minus c square tau square. So delta x square equal to c square tau square gamma square minus one. So gamma square minus one is equal to delta x square over c square tau square and this contains the speed of the muon gamma square is of course um, okay so let's uh, again gamma square is of course one over one minus v square by c square all right so what we'll calculate is gamma square minus one is delta x square c square over tau square and we know all these quantities so let's substitute this uh, delta x is 9.5 centimeters which is 10 minus 2 meters squared c is um, <coughs> 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second square and tau is 2.2 microseconds squared and this should be a dimensionless quantity because gamma is dimensionless that's dimensionless and let's make sure there's a meter square that cancels with the meter square that's a one over second square which cancels with that okay so let's take care of powers of 10 first this is 16 10 to the power 16 and this is uh, 10 to the minus 12 so 16 that's minus 4 and there's a minus 4 so the powers of 10 cancel so this works out to 9.5 square divided by 9 into 2.2 square and this factor works out to
2.07. Okay, so gamma square is 3.07 and 1 minus v square by c square is 3.07 so 1 over 3.07 is 1 minus square by c square and v square by c square is 1 minus 1 over 3.07 and that's equal to so therefore V by C is square root of that. <clears throat> is 0.821 so the muon speed is 0.821 c 81 82 percent the speed of light okay that finishes that problem <clears throat>